Hello everyone, so today we're going to be looking at these um, these two PIR sensors for burglar alarm systems made by Friedland Response I think it's a joint company because there's the Friedland logo and there's the Response one just in the corner there so um, I thought these PIRs had been discontinued but they were on Amazon <laughs> and they were 11 quid and two for 11 quid it's not that bad so I thought I'd give them a go um, so in the box PIR numero uno nice little compact things anyway but what I like which they don't seem to do anymore in general alarm sensors they just don't is the LED separate like there'd be a hole there drilled in the top casing with a red LED. I prefer the LED separate but these days they just put it behind the lens. So there's one PIR there. Instructions. Another PIR. And the fixings to drill and screw them to the wall. That's the right way around. So these are designed to be used with the Friedland response burglar alarm, but you can use them with other wired alarm systems as well. But that they were made just for use with Friedland, but they do work with others. So let's take the cover off this one. I know I've put a hole. Yeah, I've put a hole there because I'm going to show you them working. You see. So I'd put a hole in the casing so I could put the wires through. that screw just comes out it opens up to reveal well over time the sticker actually has started to come off if you were using it with a fried land alarm in the instructions it would have been colour coded like that and that then colour coding systems would be in use on the other items such as the bell box the control panel or glass brake detector anything like that that would have been used but obviously I'm just testing this and even if it was connected to an alarm it wouldn't be a fried land response one as I'm not too keen on them so that's no good so I can actually just peel that off but I'll just leave it on for now you never know Um yeah so all I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put I've got obviously a backup battery and I'm just gonna put power to it and we'll see if it'll light up and obviously there's the LED like I said before behind the lens and there's the infrared sensor a set in there, one, two, three counts, so that's how many movements there has to be before it triggers the PIR. It's currently set to three. And obviously there's a tamper. Very interesting tamper. It's not a spring or a micro switch, it's a piece of metal. And it's uh where's the uh, them grooves there when you put the cover on that they push it down and it connects with that soldering blob there. So then the circuit's created and as soon as the cover comes off that removes the circuit's broken and the alarm goes into tamper. So let's connect two wires and see if we can get it going. I won't show you the other one because obviously they're just the same. They're the same PIR sensors, so you only need to see one. Just stripping me wires. That sounded really wrong. <laughs> I'm just stripping the wires. There we go. Nice little end on that there, so that can be plugged in. And do the other one. Right. So we want those two terminals there because they're positive and negative and obviously that's for the power and we want the power now I do put the screws down in the unused terminal blocks because A it shows they're unused and B it keeps the screws from falling out so I'll just put them down there and I'll leave those two screws up because we'll need them now in a minute
Right. Nearly put the cover back on then, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> so, we'll take this wire and we'll just thread it through this hole I've created on the back here. And then we'll insert it into the correct hole on the terminal block. So I'll just bend that over because that's a bit long. I'm all over the show here. I'm trying to get you to see. I'm trying to get me to see so I know what I'm doing. I do know what I'm doing, it just looks like I don't. <laughs> anyway, oh, right, got it in. Yeah, that's in there. So let's just get my screwdriver and we'll tighten that before it flings out. And I keep getting distracted as well because there is a leak in the workroom roof. So whenever I'm talking, I think, who's that tapping me? And it's letting dropping water on me. Right. That's one. Here's the second one, just put that through. I'm right in your way there, aren't I? Anyway, put it in. So let's tighten that screw as well. Right, that's wired in now. So I'll connect the battery. And I'll tell you what, I'll put the cover back on and we'll power it up with the cover on and we'll see how it looks. Why isn't that why isn't that wanting to lock in now? There we go. Put that screw back in. Right, so just off camera, I'll power the this up, this PIR. I might get a red light straight away as soon as I connect it, we'll see. No lights there, so I'll wave in front of it and it should activate the LED. No activation there, is there? Now at this point, I'm probably thinking it's a dead backup battery that I've got. So I'm just going to nip away and see if I've got another backup battery, because this one clearly doesn't want to work. I'll be back in a second. Sorry for this tiny inconvenience. Right, I'm back and with a new backup battery, or an old one I should say. It's a really old one this, but it holds charge well. So unless the PIR's broken, this battery should definitely make it work. So let's see, I'll connect it now. No, nothing again, is there? Oh yeah, got a light now, got a light. See it in there, shining through. Stays on for a flipping long time, doesn't it?
I think we might have a dodgy PIR here. Anyway, mm. see the light comes on, then it goes off. Let's stand it up. Let's stand it up and turn my main light off. You can see the light in there, can't you? Let's lie it flat again and see if the light goes out. No, it's definitely not going out there, is it? Let's take the cover off and see if we can see any obvious signs inside of it being faulty. Not that we will, but you know. Oh, it's dark now, I can't see. We'll have to put this little light on. There we go. I'll leave it like that, I think it improves the quality of the camera. Um, they're definitely connected right. Here's this little, little pulse switch here. Hold the tamper down. No, it's not doing anything, is it? Well, it did light up, I'll give it that. Maybe it will be better if it is connected to a proper alarm system and not just running off a backup battery, even though it should just run off a backup battery. It isn't, unfortunately. And I've got about 12 backup batteries spare, and I'm not prepared to go and test each one. It's not a task I really want to do at the minute, because I was hoping I'll just do this video and that'll be it. But no, it's not, is it? Oh, see, it lights back on. We'll have to see what it's like when it's connected to an alarm system. Might be a faulty circuit board. Might just be because it's running off a backup battery. Anyway, there's one lit up. There's the LED shining through that should come on when it detects movement. And here's the one that I've not powered up. I think they look quite smart anyway. I'll definitely, if I ever, if I ever do another alarm job in my life again, which considering I do lots of them, is very, very highly likely, I'll be sure to use these PIRs and connect them and then I'll know if they work properly and if I get any complaints I know they don't oh the light's gone out now if I bang it again it comes back on very strange PIR this in it a shock sensor in disguise anyway there we have it there the fried land response PIR sensors oh it's gone off Oh, it's come on now when I moved. Might be getting somewhere. Might have just needed a minute to be powered on because obviously I've had them in storage for ages. That's probably what it was. I'm moving behind camera here and it's coming on. I think it's working. I think it's working. That must just have been it. So if I put my hand in front of it, Yes, it's working properly. Just needed a minute. Just needed to wake up. So, I'll put this to the side here. Just so it's in shot. And move this one out of the way. And let's have a little look at these instructions. Now, I'm looking at my camera. And there's only 1 minute 6 seconds left of recording. So, I'm going to have to speed this up a bit. Literally, I can't read all this out. This is the best you're going to get. Let's see here. 90 degrees it looks out at. 
Wired passive infrared movement detectors. Please read the instructions carefully. So obviously you'll have to pause this if you want to read any of it with the faintest idea. There's the other side, jump link inside of the PIRs. All other information, quick, 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 quick. Right, that's that. So I'll put this back in shot. And there we go, this lovely PIR sensor. And there's only seven seconds left now, so I'll leave you with the PIR light on, hopefully. No, it's gone out quick.